What are you doing? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, welcome back. Another day of Vlogmas, but just thought I would do a different kind of video today. We're gonna talk about the three apps that I think are the best for TikToks. I love TikTok, TikTok's my main platform. I love getting super creative with my videos on there and applying cool edits and things like that. I also don't like to really edit in app. I know a lot of people say to edit in the app and I do sometimes if it's like super simple, but most of the time I like to take it outside and use external apps. So I'm gonna go through the three external apps I think are the best for TikTok editing. So the first app I like to use is called Facetune Video. It's by the company Light Tricks. They also have Facetune 2 and Facetune, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are super familiar with. It basically does a lot of things that the regular Facetune does for photos, but also for your videos. I'm gonna open it up here. I already have a video plugged in because I wanted to do a little demonstration. I like to use this for correcting lighting issues and also for the different filters and overlays it has. Like I said earlier, the Facetune video app is just like the regular Facetune app, but it has so many different features to help you edit your videos as easily as you edit selfies. So there's retouch, reshape, smile, eyes, filters, overlays, layouts, edit in, looks. So we're just gonna walk through fixing the lighting really quick. So I'm gonna go in and hit retouch. So I'm gonna tap on glow if I feel like my face is looking a little dull. And you can also do it while the video is playing. So you can, you know, kind of compare before and after as you are editing. As you can see, it kind of makes my face glow a little bit more. I don't like to do it too, too much. Otherwise it just looks really weird. <laughs> I will apply it and maybe like tone it down and already you can kind of see the difference and i like to use matte for if the ring light is hitting my face and it makes my makeup look super oily maybe i didn't set my makeup super well that day it makes it look greasy and shiny you can kind of see what it's already doing there in this particular instance my face looks okay so it might be a little overkill to um, apply matte like a ton so i'm just gonna reduce the intensity maybe to like a 10 or something like that and you can very subtly tell the difference but i think this tool is super awesome for if you're having issues with like shiny looking skin i'm also going to jump into uh, some filters and overlays we're gonna go through the filters i love the golden series i just think it makes your skin look so nice nice and warm. I love GLD05. It's so pretty and so subtle in my opinion. It just gives you some warmth to your skin. They have attitude. Black and white obviously super helpful since so many people love to do black and white stuff on TikTok. Ultraviolet, urban, list goes on. And they also have a bunch of overlays. My favorite series is the VHS overlays. I love like the filmy looking ones. Pull up a little video montage I made when my friend Elena and I went to San Francisco. I found the video that I'm looking for. It's gonna save it from InShot. So let's go over to overlays and we're gonna go to BHS. This looks so freaking cute on top of this video. I also love the BHS 05. I think it's so cool. It's like a little recording template. I love the BHS series. I know there's like also Sparkle. And what you can also do on the Facetune video app is you can create looks, which are basically presets, but for your video. So say that you edit edit a video in the Facetune video app and you like the overlays, you like the filters, you like the way that you, you know, like manipulated the video, the way you edited it, you can save that as like a custom look and then apply it to a future video that you plug into the Facetune video app. Just wanted to show you guys really quickly three different looks slash video presets that I created with Facetune video. I created the different looks by basically creating three different video edits and saving to looks when I'm saving to a camera roll and then just apply them to this video as you can see here just makes tiktok editing so easy because all you have to do is apply a look and then you're done and upload a tiktok basically yeah that's pretty much it for face tune video i think there's just so many things you can do on this app next up we're going to talk about inshot and i freaking love inshot i consider inshot to be the final cut pro of iPhone basically. So what you can do in InShot is you can basically cut clips. So say you had like three minute long clips, you can put it all in here and cut them down to whatever time length you wanted. You can also go in and add 
Let's see, I already had a track over that I pasted from TikTok. You can also save videos and then extract the audios from them and then use them underneath like other clips. If you have like filler clips or anything like that, maybe some B-roll. Also a bunch of tracks in here you can use and they are all copyright free. You can use it as long as you, you know, credit the artist. So like I said, you can split, which is basically when you go in and like split and then like maybe like delete a clip if you don't want that anymore. You can adjust the volume for all the clips, mess with like the speed for like each individual clip. You can also duplicate clips. You can rotate them as I'm doing here. You can flip them. There's just so many things you can do in this app. That's why I think it's basically the Final Cut Pro of video editing on iPhone. And it's super, super user-friendly. In the beginning, it does take a little while to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's the easiest thing to use like in the whole world. And I use it for honestly like 80% of my TikTok videos. The last app I'm gonna talk about, and if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you know that I freaking love this app. I pay a monthly subscription fee for this app because I just love it so much. It's called the Teza app. I pay like three to four dollars a month so that I can also edit video on here. Let's just like import that little daytime montage video. I think it's just a great example. I feel like it's like a very intimate look into my social media life. What I love to use this app for is going in and manipulating like little details. The brightness, I can do that super easily in this app. I can do the contrast, the shadows. If it's like too dark, I can bring that up. I can add some grain if I want it to look more lived in and more like iPhone-esque. And alter the temperature, make it warmer. I love the HSL tool, which is where you can go in and edit the hue, saturation, and luminance for like every color. So say we have some blue you can alter how the blue looks you can make it look even more blue i love using that just because i like to keep a generally neutral palette so whenever i have videos or photos where a color is a bit too bright for me i'll go ahead and tone it down to make it more neutral looking i also love using this app for the dust this is my number one dust app my favorite dust filter is dust number one it's also dust number two they kind of just get more intense this one's like super dusty i use it for all my instagram photos also some of my tiktok videos if i feel like making it a little bit more aesthetic I also love that it has these options. I can put subtitles on here, make it a little cute little vintage film, you know what I mean? I think Teza app is definitely more vintage-y vibes. They also have a vintage film option that I like to apply on my videos as well. Those are the three apps I use for all of my TikTok videos. I like to do everything outside of the app so that it's much better and I have more creative control and I can manipulate more things like the coloring, the shadows, the highlights, the cuts, and apply cool filters and over Overlays. Definitely give them a try. Check out all the apps below. I'll also leave the link for Facetune video below. Yeah, hope that was super helpful. Stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas and I will see you guys in the next video.